Hey everyone, I am back to do a review for the wig company. They sent me a few more wigs. Uh, apparently they liked what I did before and so they gave me a whole bunch to choose from and I really tried to consider what people have asked me for and I wanted to choose a couple of short styles this time because I have been asked to do some shorter wigs. So the first one that I'm going to pull out is New Striking in the color 32 slash 24 with a root of four. So I've got it right here in the wrapping. Let me just get her out, get the packaging off, get the tags off her real quick. All right. So I thought I'd start the video with the unboxing this time and then I will come back with some styling and you know after that and probably have makeup on at that point. I this is the end of a very long day and I just really wanted to get started. So, look at that color. 33 20, let's see what did I say? 33 24. And they've really got the blending. It's like dark down here, dark auburn. And then we've got a really light, light auburn kind of fire, fiery, coppery. And then there's a root on it. And the root looks really good. All right, so let's put her on. Oh, this cap feels really snug, is it? No, it's not really cinched. All right, let's see. I just want to pull her all the way out and see what we got. Yeah, this cap feels really snug. Oh, look at that. Fun little curls and waves. So this is a basic cap wig. So there's no bells and whistles. I just love this color. Oh my gosh. Redheads are going to love this. Very dynamic. The fibers feel fantastic. All right, so here's your out of the box look. Let's see, kind of want to see the back too. Oh, how fun is that with the colors? So interesting. That blending is really interesting. So she is a basic cap and I do have quite a bit of room up at the top here, but otherwise she feels really snug. The coverage is really good though, really good. Yeah, it really just fits my head aside from the extra cap up here, which I expect because I'm so petite, it really fits my head well. You know what else I really like? You can't really see that permatease very well up here. It's really, because the root, that's what happens when you get a rooted color in a basic cap. The permatease isn't as visible as when it's all the same color. And that can be a really good tactic to hiding permatease in a basic cap is to get a rooted color. Now, I can't pull this one off the face because she is a basic cap, but I am sure I can put accessories in. And just look at, I think she's starting to look better just with playing with her. You know, you've got to wake the fibers up. You want to get them off the permatease. What a fun, flirty little style. All right, guys, so this has been out of the box. I've been playing with her. Uh, you've seen everything that I've done. So I'm going to take this baby off, and I'm probably not going to do it tonight because it's really late. But I am going to play with her some more, see what happens if I put some product in her, put some accessories in her. But I think she's really cute out of the box. 
I really do. You know, it's not my typical style, but that's the fun, right? Because then you can try new things and you can get creative. So stick around. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm here today to do a review for The Wig Company. I am wearing New Striking, and this is part of their Fashion Club line, and the color, which I love, is 33 slash 24 with a four root. So it is a rooted color. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love this color. Look at this color, it's so pretty. So you've got a 33, and a 24 blended together to give it this vibrant, vibrant auburn. It's kind of a, it's more coppery than anything. It's very coppery. Look at that. And then you've got just a beautiful, subtle root, which is a number four dark brown. And it just contrasts so perfectly with this color. It's beautiful. And it, it hides any permatease right there because between the, between the curly fibers lifted off the cap and the contrasting color with the auburn copper, it is gorgeous. I love this color. Um, so the wig company, let's just real quick talk about them. They sent me this wig and I'm so appreciative. Thank you wig company for trusting me to do another review for you. And, um, you know, something that I think everybody needs to know is all of the different options that you guys have for purchasing wigs because there's a lot of scammers out there. And the wig company is a wonderful, legitimate wig retailer. They have been around for 50 years. They're just celebrating their 50th anniversary. And they have a lot of different options at their website. They have a whole lot, multiple lines of their own house brand wigs, which is one of, this comes from one of them, the Fashion Club, or Fashion Club, I think it is. And, but they also sell Aesthetica and Gabor and lots of other name brand wigs as well. So it's a great resource. Uh, so let's just talk about new striking. Oh my goodness. Just look at these color curls. It's such a sassy, cute little short curly wig. Um, very, very, very comfortable cap. Um, it does come in both an average, which is what I have, and a large cap. So large cap sisters, oh my gosh, here is something for you. I will tell you though that the average I have a ton of extra cap on the top of my head. Look at all of that. It's not enough to be uncomfortable, but it definitely has room to grow. I am an average circumference at 22 inches. It fits my circumference really well, pretty snug. Um, so I would say the challenge I face is that I'm average circumference and super petite over the top of my head. So I often have wigs that fit great around my head and leave me with a ton of extra cap over the top of my head. This one is doing that. So I would say if you are a very much bigger, there's not a ton of stretch in here. I mean, she fits really, really snug. So I would say if you're very much bigger than 22 inch circumference, 22 and a quarter, you might consider going up to large. If you're not sure though, I know their customer service is great. I would just reach out to them, especially since it's one of their house line. They'll be able to tell you a lot more information. So that's an option for you. Let's take a look at this one all the way around. I love the curls on this one. They're just really adorable. Now look at the contrast. The contrast in the back is really dramatic. So what they did was they took the copper, all of this highlighted coppery, and they left it out of this part. So it's really contrasting. I don't know if I can get close enough for you guys to actually see. See that dramatic difference? That's not for everybody. I think it's really cute, but for some people that is gonna to be too in your face and call it too much attention to your hair. So please know that about this color and how they chose to distribute it. Otherwise, oh my gosh, so pretty. So just big curls, lots of permatease. There's lots and lots of permatease up here, all in here, all up here. She's just a poof of pillow, pillowy permatease on the top, which I think because of how the all of these super curly fibers down here, you need some of that up here um, to give it lift, to balance out the fullness of the curls. If there wasn't all that permatease up here, it would look really funny. 
you know, you need that. And it also helps that it, to give all of this lift and they've got just enough wave on the top that it hides any visible permatease. If I were to do this, there's visible permatease right there, but you don't wear it. I mean, the hair doesn't lay that way. It lays with some lift and you can get even more lift by just taking your fingers and doing this then you can't see the permatease. So I, I think that is really phenomenal. The bangs just like to kind of sweep over to the side and stay there. So that's great because she's a basic cap. I'll show you the cap. You know, you definitely need the bangs to kind of lay down a little bit to hide the cap. I will tell you guys, when I got her out of the box, she needed a little soaking. She had a lot of box hair. You know, they're shipping these fashion club wigs in teeny tiny little boxes. Not all of them. I guess the first one I got wasn't. But these are really teeny tiny little boxes. So they, it's nice if for those of us who don't have a lot of room for storage but want to keep our wigs in their boxes. Um, it's a good size, but it, it does, they do get compacted in there quite a bit. So what I, I do have it out of the box, stick around for it. What I did was I just soaked it in water and hung it upside down to dry overnight. Took her out this morning, put her on, did this, done. That's all I did. I actually haven't even used product in her. I've not really done much of anything but the soaking. And that worked really, really good. I will say because of her fullness and all of these curls, you have a couple of different styling options if you like to use accessories. Um, I was playing around a little bit before I turned this on just to decide what accessories I wanted to pull out. I mean, you can just do fun little blingy clips. Like I've got this little butterfly clip I've had for so many years. I don't even know where I got it. I need to upgrade my hairstyling stuff, I think. Um, you can put in just a little, I'm a fan of like putting bangs over to the side like this then sticking clips in. A little sparkly clip like that. You can definitely, um, you know, pull up some hair here and there and put some clips in like that. I think that's really cute. You can take a square band or any headband. I like these square bands. They're like sunglasses and they definitely they don't squeeze the head and they fit really well over wigs. <laughs> Put a square band in and then you can just kind of mess around with how she lays. And get some different cute looks there. So I do think you've got some options. Uh, she, she fits me really, really well. She is tuckable, although because of all of these curls, I don't know how well that will distribute the curls if you tuck her, but otherwise super comfortable. I will tell you that um, she's a really good price too. I have her up on the website right now. She's $69 on sale right now. And so again, I'm filming this video in December of 2019. If you're watching this later, who knows what she'll be, but definitely, definitely a great price point for a super, super cute wig. So let's just take a look at the cap. Really basic, you know, no lace front. The ear tabs are open, kind of like Aesthetica likes to do. A little bit of an open ear tab there. There you go. And there's a lot of hair sewn in on the ear tab. Also, there is a a bit of an open extended nape, not a fully extended nape, but a little bit of an open extended nape. And it has Velcro, she has Velcro adjusters. Very, very pillowy when I squeeze her, so there's quite a bit of permatease in here and a good amount of hair density. Not super dense, but I will say she's rather full. So if, you know, if you've been losing your hair for a lot of years and you're easily overwhelmed by wigs or too much hair, this one's really full. I mean, you know, she's got a lot of hair, she's got quite a bit of permatease, and a lot of curls. So I would be real hesitant, unless you're used to wearing curly wigs and you like fullness, to recommend this to you, especially if it's your first wig. Uh, just be careful of that. I can wear a style like this now over a year into my wig journey because I've gotten really comfortable with helper hair, with um, curly hair. Um, but she's not for the faint of heart for somebody who's just starting out in your journey. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. I also want to point out, I tried to look up and they do send a little catalog with all of their orders, which is really fun. I tried to look up 
um, the picture in the catalog to show you guys. This wig looks a lot shorter on me than it does in the, on the model. A lot shorter. I don't know if I can get this to pick up my laptop. Let me see. I'm going to pull it up here. So this is an example. It looks so much shorter on me than it does on her. She's just got so much of a smaller face than I do. Skinnier face, shorter face, um, which is another example why it's really important that you guys look at lots of reviews because what looks one way on me is going to look a different way on someone else. I love Taz's videos and I watch her videos all the time. I've started to learn that some things that look really good on her don't look good on me because we are built differently. And so I've got to keep that in mind when I watch these reviews because it's really easy to get sucked into wigs that look super cute on someone and they're just not your style. So keep that in mind. It's hard when you're starting because you don't know yet. It's really hard. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give that plug because I was given the choice of, I think they sent me like eight or nine different choices and said, you know, which one would you like us to send you? And I picked this one based on the picture. She does look different on me. I still think she's cute, but this isn't how I thought this would look on me. You know what I mean? So just, just be conscious of that. Otherwise, I just really am excited to show this one to you guys. I know I've got some sisters who love some volume. I would say, you know, I have Shayna by Tressalore. This one could be similar to Shayna, a lot more curl. Than Shayna has, but Shayna ha and, and Shayna's front is longer. This one's a lot shorter in the front, um, definitely a lot shorter. I'm four, um, I want to say I'm four inches. Now I'm forgetting if it's four or four and a half, but this is a, you know, a pretty short fringe, whereas Shayna's got tuckable longer hair in the front. Um, but but the permatease up here is really makes the style full and I think it makes the style, but it's going to be really, really a lot for someone who isn't used to that. And I think you can tame it a little bit. I do think that permatease settles over time. This permatease will settle over time. Let me know if you have questions, though. I mean, I just think this is such a cute, cute style. And it's not on the neck. Um, you know, I can't say that it's going to be super cool because it has a ton of permatease. Permatease holds in the heat. Uh, but it definitely is nice off the neck. If you are a scarf wearer in the winter, if you like to wear scarves around your neck, if you like to wear turtlenecks, this is a perfect, perfect length for all of that. Really perfect. All right, guys, I'll get an outside look for you. I also have the unboxing, so you can check that out as well uh, at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, guys. All right, here's the outside look of 3324 with a four root. I could not be more pleased with this color. I think it is beautiful. So beautiful. Vibrant coppery auburn. I don't know if I can get the back. The one wild card here is the back. Hopefully that's in the frame because of the contrast. Let me get over here against the house. You can see hopefully that contrast. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this particular piece as much as I do. I think she's adorable and I love this color. Have a good one, you guys.